Hey guys, how's it going? Ryan here. So today, I would just like to quickly share with you guys a cool little reversed effect trick that you can use in your mixes. Now, this is something that I've used before in some of my music, and it's not too difficult to do, so I'm hoping that it won't take too long for me to explain it. Uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. This one's a lot of fun. Uh, I just have uh, a quick little loop here that I'll play for you guys, and some of you might actually recognize the melody, and if you don't, shame on you. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead, we'll hit play, and we'll take things from there. Okay, so the first thing um, I just want to quickly talk about is you need to figure out what sort of effects you're going for. Now, of course, this is going to come later in, in your mix, right? When you're adding all those sweetener effects and things like that, or at least that's how I like, like to do it. So I'm thinking that for this particular track here, I want to leave the drums as they are. Now, of course, we could go ahead and reverse some of the drum hits and, you know, glitch things out and rearrange them and all that. I don't think we're going to get into that right now. Uh, we're going to leave them as they are, but what I would like to do is sort of have this reversed synth sound. So I'm thinking let's go ahead and take the synth stab and we'll have one of the stabs uh, reversed and then it'll sort of reverse back into itself when the uh, next corresponding stab hits, or I guess when the uh, next chord hits. Uh, so there's two chords here, we get the first one and then we have a lower part. Uh, let's quickly play that for you guys. So you can see it's just those two chords going back and forth. So the first thing that I want to do is we're going to need to bounce this. So we don't need the whole loop here and we only need uh, one of these stabs right now. So let's go ahead and mute uh, these other three. And I also don't want the uh, delay on there. So let's go ahead into Zebra 2 and we will turn that off. Simple as that. And uh, now uh, I also would like to add some reverb on here. So let's go ahead, uh, we'll go into audio units and we'll add some Valhalla Room, which is a great sounding reverb, by the way. And uh, we'll bump up the decay to about 12 seconds. <clears throat> uh, quickly hit play and we'll see how that sounds. Beautiful, uh, nice long reverb tail. So let's go ahead, we'll bounce this. So now we have a nice audio file of that, and what we're gonna do now is reverse this one. So functions and reverse. There we go, so now it should be sweeping up into itself. Let's go have a quick listen. Uh, still a bit of a reverb on there, it seems. Oh right, it's still being sent to the bus here. So we'll turn off the bus, so now it should just be, uh, it should end right when the audio file ends. Perfect. And now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to one of the other stabs, this one down here. So mute this one and unmute this one. Now we'll go ahead and unmute this track and we're going to go ahead and bounce this one now. So drag, uh, we don't need this, this is just blank stuff here. Uh, we're gonna go into this audio file and re reverse this one just like we did the other one. Let's have a quick listen. Okay, cool, so now we have uh, two really long reversed uh, synth stabs with a ton of reverb. So where I'd like to place these is, this is obviously the first one that we did. So as we can see we got, whoops, we've got uh, the two, the the first two chords, and then we have the two lower chords. So I want the first reversed one to re reverse before that same chord hits. So it's going to be, uh, we can drag this loop out now. So we're going to have it uh, right right in this area right here. So let's just go ahead. We'll trim off some of this unnecessary reverb tail, which is uh, far too long. And we're just going to zoom in. We can probably unmute this as well. And we're just going to uh, drag this so that the end of the reverse part is right at the start of where the next uh, synth stab hits. 
And uh, I'm also going to cut off just a little bit so that we don't get that plucky first part. So we're just going to have it right about there and we'll drag it back until it lines up. That's about good. Now I'm just going to mute this one for the time being. So let's just have a quick listen. And uh, just remember to turn off the reverb here. And of course I'll turn back on the delay. All right, let's try that again. Oh gosh, okay, not doing too well here. Let's, okay, now everything should be on. Let's try that one more time. Okay, so you can hear very, very subtly that we have this sort of reverse part in there. I think we can actually go ahead and increase the volume. One quick thing to note, uh, even though the master fader is at zero, this is a lot quieter because we obviously had it turned down here just a bit, or because, because there's reverb, it's actually not as loud. And I don't like to take my faders higher than zero. So we're gonna put this back down to zero. We're gonna go into the, uh, uh, we're gonna go into the utility here and just add a gain and bump this up so it's just a little bit louder. And uh, I think we're gonna trim off more of this reverb here because I think it's too long. We'll maybe just have one, bu one bar of it from about four to five. So now let's play that and see how it sounds. <laughs> Okay, uh, sounding a little better, but there's still kind of, uh, I think it's starting too early, and it's kind of um, taking over this last uh, synth stab here. So we're gonna go ahead and add a fade, and sort of have it fade in. So let's try that and see how that sounds. Okay, now that is pretty much what I was looking for. Um, now let's try shortening that up to half a bar and see how that sounds, just to play around with it. Hmm, it's tough to say. I actually kind of like the uh, longer version. Maybe we can uh, just make that fade in a little bit more steep. And that should be good. Okay, that's sounding pretty good. Um, however, I think we can do a little bit more with this, um, with this one here. Uh, so first what I wanna do is let's just get our other synth stab uh, to the point where we are right here. So I'll quickly go ahead and do that. Let's just cut off the tail, drag this back, and remember that um, this is the lower one, so it needs to fade into the lower part. So we'll put this one, this guy will actually come in before. And we'll get this lining up. Again, we're gonna just cut off some of that uh, pluck part, which is obviously on the other side now. And then we're just gonna sort of line it up. That's good enough. And we have, what were we at? One bar. This is back to the two. And there we go. Maybe not all the way. Maybe like right there. And now we're going to, that's right, we don't actually need to go there. Okay, so now we have both of our fades set up. Let's go ahead and have a listen from the start and see how they sound. Uh, hold on here, did I actually do this right? Should it be the other way around? Let's try that. That's actually how it should be. I think we should have this one fade into it because they because they are the same chord. Let's try that again. I think this one here needs to be boosted a little bit. Um, drag this up and we'll throw the gain on the other one. So now they're at the same level. You know what? I actually liked it the other way. I liked it when the other chord was fading into it. So let's switch these around and play it again. Okay, you guys might like it the other way, but personally I think this way sounds a lot better. Uh, now, before I didn't know what the heck I was doing, 
uh, I think I was saying that I could take this a little bit further. So let's just go ahead. We have these in the right places now. Uh, let's go ahead and copy and paste these a few times. There we go. Uh, actually, wait, before we do that, I'm thinking that it might be cool to have these an octave higher. So let's go ahead. Uh, we'll go to functions. We'll go to the time and pitch machine. Uh, classic mode is already chosen. And looks like, yeah, so 1200 cents. We'll move this up an octave. Let's just have a quick listen. Okay, so we're going to hit process and paste. And close this, close that. And we'll go to the other one and we'll do the same thing. We're going to increase it, uh, its pitch by an octave, which will uh, shorten it by half its length. So let's have, so let's move these back now. We're going to have to move these. There we go. Now let's have a listen and see how that sounds. So these are both now an octave higher and a little bit shorter. Okay, you know what? They're a little too short now. Let's go ahead and go into flex mode. Polyphonic, or sorry, polyphonic for both of these. We'll drag them back out so they are now one bar in length. There we go, and let's have a listen. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. Now, of course, you guys might not exactly like what I'm doing, and some of you might love what I'm doing. Again, this is just all up to uh, experimentation at this point. If you want it to be the same octave, go ahead. If you want it to be an octave lower or an octave higher, as uh, I've done, go ahead and play around with it. Just see what works best for your track. Um, I still think we can do a little bit more. I think we need to add a bit of reverb on these guys. So again, let's go back down. I'm going to go ahead and throw the Valhalla Room on there. Uh, if you don't have that and you're using Logic, you can use the Space De Designer or any of the other reverbs, although I think Space Designer sounds best. Or, of course, if you have, if you have any other third-party plugins, go ahead and use those. Uh, so let's leave, the, let's leave this at about two seconds. I'm fine with that. Eh, maybe like three, something like that. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and copy the same one. So now they both have a bit of reverb, and let's go ahead and automate that because I'm thinking I only want to have the reverb on at the end of that sound. So let's go down to the mix, drag this down, and then bam, all the way up near the end. And same thing for the other one, Valhalla Room, mix, clicky clicky, drag it down, and we're going to have the reverb come on near the end. Let's see how that sounds now. Okay, okay, not too bad. Uh, it's going to add a little bit of a curve on these guys. Drag this back, drag this forward. Again, drag this back a bit, just dragging it forward, just doing some minor adjustments right here. Let's have a quick listen. And actually, I'm going to drag these down a little bit, make them not so wet. Okay, uh, that sounds pretty good. Let's take this even further. Uh, of course, you could have stopped a long time ago, but for me, I'm extremely particular about effects and um, you know what if you're if you're not happy with it just keep working on it or if you or if you think you've tried everything then you know it's time to call it quits and try something else but in this case I think we're still on on to it um, let's go ahead and play with the panning now we'll go ahead and choose panning on both of them sort of have it coming from left to right I think so let's drag this down here it'll be left right and then for this one we're gonna have it all the way right to left now we're not gonna be able to hear it in this little section here because the fades there so that's why I'm moving it a little bit further ahead and uh, whoops 
it should be the other way. So we got right, or sorry, I get confused sometimes. Uh, this is this is right to left, and then this next one will be left to right. So let's go ahead and hear that. Uh, still kind of having a hard time. I think what I'm going to do is get out of automation mode here, go back to the fade that's on there, and just kind of draw it back so we're going to hear it a little bit earlier. Go back to automation again and uh, move this over a little bit like this so that we hear more of the side that it starts at. Okay, let's try that now. And again, I think we're going to have it gradually go over there. So I think we're going to try it like this and we're going to try it like that. Now let's have another listen. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, it's kind of up to you at this point how often you want them to play. I'm thinking not every single bar, but maybe, you know, at the end of these first two bars, and what I'm calling a bar here is, I guess, one section. Section? Yeah. Uh, ah, heck, we're just putting all of them. Okay, so now we've got our fades doing the whole thing, and the automation should be copied over, so you don't have to do anything else, which is great. Let's just go ahead and play these other ones and check just to make sure. Okay, beautiful. That's, uh, I think we can call this done. So I obviously went above and beyond what was necessary. You could have just stopped it you know, adding some reverb to the fade or just adding a fade in general and having it sort of like, sort of like suck into itself. And, um, but you know what, I think adding these little, you know, fades and uh, um, a bit extra reverb and the panning and all that, I just think it makes it sound more interesting. And that's, like I said, I get really into when I start doing automation and, and stuff and usually do too much, but Hey, I love it and I think it sounds great. And uh, like I said, just keep experimenting and you'll come up with some pretty cool sounds. Now, before I let you guys go, because I obviously take forever to explain things, but hopefully you still enjoy these tutorials, uh, no track, loop, demo, anything. None of these things are complete without, of course, a lead. So let me go ahead and uh, record something here on the fly. And once you guys hear this lead, you might have an idea now, if you didn't before, uh, what the melody was from. So let me go ahead, just before I wrap this up, and add a cool lead sound to this. guys have it. So I hope you have found this tutorial helpful and uh, as always leave me your questions and comments and feedback. I'm always trying to improve. I think I ramble a lot but I think some of you guys have already told me that you don't mind that. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you next time.